Hey, welcome to my channel. I wanted to do a quick video to follow up on the blog post that I posted on my website and talk about cloth pads and menstrual cups. Um, I know that for me, it's easier to listen to a video. So I thought I'd do it to accommodate people who don't have time to read my blog. All right, this is a wet bag. This is what you can store your cloth pads and cloth cups in. When they're clean or when they're dirty, this is another wet bag that I have some clean cloth pads in. This is a cloth pad made by Work at Home Mom. The, the um, inside is on the back. So this is the soaker. This is what gets soaked. So when you're menstruating, it goes through this thin piece of cloth and gets soaked up by this charcoal bamboo. That's what it's called, charcoal bamboo. Um, so that's one type of cloth pad. Um, this is one of the ones you can get off Amazon. This is how I first started off with cloth. And instead of it being it's the reverse of this. Instead of the charcoal being on the bottom, it's on the top. And um, you feel a little bit more wetness with these. It's still, if you wanna try out cloth and don't wanna to spend too much money, these are on Amazon and they're really cheap. There's a lot of different type of cloth pads. Um, you can get them in various shapes and sizes. I think this one's a different shape. See, this is a different shape. There's different patterns you can get them in. I have some um, ones that are cut like that. They're round at the top and cut in a V shape at the bottom for um, foams. So you can get them to accommodate anything. You can get them really long really uh, thick if you have a heavier pack, uh, period or moon cycle. These are the same ones. These are another things from Amazon. I have it. I have, I bought these for my sister because she's like iffy about switching to cloth. So I need to get her those. Um, I also bought these from Amazon before I knew of any work at home moms and businesses that made these. They, quality wise, the work at home moms do it better. Um, the ones that I haven't seen anyway, which I have linked in my blog on the cloth pad and um, menstrual cup blog. Okay. I don't think I have my, I had, the first started off with cups with um, my Diva cup. And it worked out well for a while. I have to reevaluate my, my relationship with my Diva Cup. So I won't go too much into that. But I have my other three cups. This is my Lunette. Maybe if I put it up against my shirt, you can see it better. But this is my Lunette cup. It's pretty malleable. The stem is is a it's a decent size stem, um, and it has these little notches on it to help pull. So when you when you insert this, the way I insert this is like that. You have to fold it, and you insert it and you push it up until you until it gets to your cervix, and it pops open. And it creates this like suction up against your cervix. And so you don't have to worry if it's inserted correctly. You don't have to worry about leaking if it's inserted and it fits. You don't have to worry about leaking. You don't have to worry about wearing underwear if you don't want to wear underwear. Um, you don't have to worry about swimming. You don't have to worry about bathing. It is a more eco-friendly version of tampons and 
reusable. You don't have to run out to the store because you ran out of tampons or pads using uh, cups. I, I'm still evaluating how I feel about this one. Oh, so after you, I was gonna talk about how you break the seal and bring it down because it is suction to your uh, cervix. This is the Ruby cup. That was a little net cup. This is the Ruby cup. Uh, I have a small one, the lunette cup, by the way, and this is a small as well. This is a ruby cup. You see it like that. It um, it also has a stem. This one has little balls or ridges, and um, it also has this. I don't know why they did this, but at the bottom of it, you can like, it can have water or something in it. I don't know, I don't feel like I'm explaining this well. This isn't just silicone. There's a little hole that goes all the way to the top of that. I'm not sure what that what they did that for. I need to email the company and ask them. Um, this cup, unlike the Lunette cup, has a um, measurement in them. And it says five milliliters, 10 milliliters, 15 milliliters. And then it says Ruby cup at the top. I like that because I like to know, I like to measure things and know how much is coming out. It's good to know. It lets me keep up with um, how heavy my period is being and all of that. I like this cup. I like both, I like both of these cups, but I'm still evaluating which one I like the most. This is the Luna cup and this one, this is the little pouch that it comes in. And this is what it looks like. Um, the stem on this one is pretty short. It has little ridges as well for you to pull on. Oh, okay. So I wanted to say when you pull it out, you can break the seal. You Say the cup is in your yoni and you slide your finger up and you pull it down like that to break the seal. Or you can squeeze at the bottom and pull down a little bit. But what you don't want to do when you put these in and you go to take them out is just pull. Because if it's in right and it's suctioned, it's, it's not going to feel good. Just don't do that. So break the seal and pull it out. And then dump it and rinse it out and wash it out or put it and put it back in or rinse it out and wash it out and store it um i've seen people say well what do you do when you're out and about with cloth or with a cup if you have a cloth pad in you have take take a wet bag for your clean ones take a wet bag for your dirty ones and when they're done just store it in the wet bag and it doesn't smell that's one, that's another thing, is it doesn't smell like um, mainstream sanitary pads. And I wanted to show us how that's our comparison. It doesn't smell like mainstream sanitary pads. It smells no different than if you cut your finger and you smell the blood coming out. That's what it smells like. Now, don't let it sit for too long. Um, and by that, I mean, don't let it sit for days and days and days. When you get home with your cups, rinse them out and wash them with your cough pads, rinse them out and um, store them until you're ready to wash them or put them in the wash and put them on pre-rinse and then wash them. So these are the three cups. Again, this is Luna, Lunette and Ruby. And um, I forgot to say that Luna has measurements in it as well. It does 7.5 to 15 milliliters. I prefer the measurements in this one because it goes so far as to um, measure from five milliliters. And um, that's great because sometimes that's all that can be measured. So the smaller measurements are great. Um, 
but yeah so storing it you store them in a wet bag someone said something about um changing in a public restroom if it's easy to change cloth pads in the public restroom that's not an issue um the cups what you can do is if you don't want to if you're just not in a position to get out of the stall and rinse it out is you can wipe it out wipe it out and reinsert it and keep it moving but what i want to say about that is if you leave the house at 8 a.m and you just inserted it and left at 8 a.m you're good till around 8 p.m so that's 12 hours of not really having to worry about the cup. Um, when when I'm getting used to a cup, I like to wear a liner with it, just in case I didn't insert it right, or just in case it's ill-fitting for the leakage possibility of it. So I get comfortable with it. Um, this bag is by Who's In Your Panties, by the way. And I have some cloth pads by Who's In Your Panties, but they're in the dryer. So, uh, I can post a picture in my um, blog. So, yeah. Um, I prefer cloth and cups because it's cleaner as far as eco-friendly and sustainability wise i don't have to make a couple trips a month or a couple trips whenever i get my moon cycle it just it fits my lifestyle basically because it's easier there's a learning curve for the cups but it's still easier because i'm not running out of anything and having to go to the store and get it and worry about that every month. I'm good. I washed it out. Good for the next one. Um, I may have forgot something, but if you have any questions, drop a comment below and let me know. Thanks for watching.